We've got Steelers breaking news, and unfortunately, it's bad news here this afternoon where it's defensive tackle and team captain Cam Hayward who left yesterday's game versus the 49ers with a groin injury. Ian Rappaport of NFL Network reports that he will miss multiple weeks, and he is currently considering surgery and that a trip to the IR is likely. This is what Ian had to say in his post as Steelers perennial Pro Bowl defensive lineman Cam Hayward is expected to miss multiple weeks because of a groin injury suffered Sunday per me and, and Mike Garofalo. Uh, he's likely headed to IR and evaluating all options, including surgery decision coming soon. I'm going to be breaking this down, what it means for the Pittsburgh Steelers here in the early part of the 2023 campaign. But before we get into that, this is why you subscribe to the channel. Every single time there's major breaking Steelers news, whether it's a trade, whether it's injury news, whether it's a free agency signing, we're going to have you covered with a video. So if you want the most comprehensive Steelers news coverage for free on YouTube, join our family today and click that subscribe button. Now, this is very bad news for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let me just say that right now. This is the heart and soul of this organization in Cam Hayward. He is a nine-time captain. He is the voice in the Steelers locker room as it sits right now. And, you know, you're losing your three technique on your defensive line. And if you know anything about three, four fronts in football, that three technique, that true defensive tackle, is really told to go after the quarterback, to be that true pass rusher from the interior. The nose tackle is supposed to be more of the uh, – uh, run-centric type defensive lineman, and then you got the five technique as well, currently held by Larry Ogunjobi. And it's definitely going to be interesting to see who fills that defensive tackle three technique spot here in Cam Hayward's absence. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's talk about Cam's impact on the field dating back to just last year. I mean, you look at these numbers, man, 74 tackles, 14 tackles for loss and 10 and a half sacks from an interior defensive lineman, along with the fifth highest PFF grade in football for the 2022 season. Cam Hayward should have been an all-pro last year, in my opinion. I thought he played dominant, dominant last season. And, you know, you, you're really going to miss a guy like this heading into the early part of the year. Obviously, he just took a big loss against the San Francisco 49ers. This is the perfect time for Cam Hayward to be in your locker room and to be that leader here, to kind of uh, be the captain and kind of captain this ship through these uh, stormy seas, uh, so to speak. And, you know, he's definitely a voice to be reckoned with in the Steelers locker room and not having him there over these next couple of weeks when you've got a couple of pretty tough games coming up. You know, especially the Browns on Monday Night Football next week coming off of a big loss at home. I think this could be catastrophic for the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, I do think there could be some silver linings to this moving forward. We're going to be breaking those down here in the second half of today's video. But before I get into some of those silver linings, let's hear it down in the comment section. What's your one word reaction? to the Cam Hayward injury news today, likely heading to IR, which means he'll miss at least four weeks. He's currently considering surgery. I think we'll probably see him back before the end of the season, but I guess we'll have to see. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show, so YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. Take advantage of that time by giving me your one-word reaction. My one-word reaction to this is opportunity. Now, obviously, you know, I thought about other words to put in here. Trouble was something that came up to mind. Concern is something that came up to mind. But the reason why I went with opportunity here is that Keanu Benton, the second-round rookie out of the University of Wisconsin, I think is going to get the opportunity to shift over because he's been playing mostly nose tackle. He's, he's rotated in. He rotated in a little bit at three technique with Cam, and he played mostly three technique in that week one game when Cam came out with his injury. And I thought that Keanu really played well in that role. And now he's, get the, he's going to be able to play that role, which I really do think that Benton is going to be slated for uh, once Cam Hayward retires. I think Ke uh, Keanu Benton is the type of hulking three technique type player, the pass rusher that can also be dominant against the run that, came ha that Cam Hayward has been throughout his career in the National Football League. My comp for Keanu Benton, this was before I knew he was going to the Steelers, my comp for Benton uh, going into this year's draft was Cam Hayward. I, I had a first round grade on Keanu Benton because he is a big time people mover at the line of scrimmage. He's an elite run defender in my opinion. And I think he's got the, the tools and I think he's got the coaching now to really develop into a great pass rushing threat. He's going to have the opportunity now, most likely, to be that starting three technique for this team in Cam Hayward's absence. I think Isaiah Loudermilk 
and possibly even DeMarvin Leal will get uh, opportunities. I know DeMarvin's dealing with uh, an arm injury, an elbow injury uh, to this point, so he might not be on the field either. But you take a look at this depth chart right now. I think Keanu Benson, you know, he's been moving in between nose tackle and three technique throughout training camp, throughout the preseason. And then he came in and played three technique in Cam's absence there in week one. I thought he was one of the bright spots on the Steelers' defensive line alongside Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt, who also had good games as well. I do think Montrevious Adams will definitely get the lion's share of the snaps at nose tackle moving forward. I do think Isaiah Loudermilk will kind of shift in between going from that five technique to that three technique. I think that Mike Tomlin and Terrell Austin are going to get relatively creative here, but now that Cam Hayward is likely headed to IR, that means that the Steelers have the opportunity to elevate somebody from the practice squad, and I would be shocked if it's not Braden Fahoku, the nose tackle, uh, and bring him up. I think he's a big body that was really good against uh, the run specifically in, uh, or in training camp practices in the preseason. I think you can add him to this 53-man roster as the backup nose tackle, and you can tell Keanu Benson to kind of be that true starter at the three technique while Cam Hayward is away healing from his injury. I thought Fihoku probably should have made the 53-man roster to start. I thought he was awesome in training camp. I thought he was awesome in the preseason. And now this is his opportunity to get back on the 53-man roster here and really show that he can be a nice rotational piece as a, really a brick wall in the middle of the Steelers' defensive line against the run game. Now, coming up here, I'm going to be telling you guys the best options in free agency if Omar Khan wants to replace Cam Hayward with somebody currently on the free agent market. But before I do that, check out our friends at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code Steelers125 to get a 125% deposit bonus today. Now, what does that mean? That means if you put a deposit of $100 to $600 on the BetUS website, they're going to give you 125% of that money back to you to use on your bet. So, for example, if you put in $100, they're going to give you $125 additional dollars to use on your bets, $225 total. So if you want to take advantage of that right now, you can go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code Steelers125 to take advantage of that deposit bonus today. All right, so now let's talk about some of the top defensive line free agents currently on the market. Michael Brockers, Madama Kung Su is somebody that a lot of Steelers fans have already suggested on Steelers Twitter. He's kind of got that nasty mentality that Mike Tomlin likes in his defensive lineman. Linval Joseph, more of a nose tackle, so I'm not sure if that one is going to be much of a fit. And then you got Ross Blacklock, a talented guy out of TCU. Uh, but he hasn't really been great as a pro, so I'm not sure how much you trust him. And then Tristan Hill is another guy on there. And personally, I don't really think that the options here are suitable. I think it's pretty darn thin on the free agency market right now. Now, maybe you can move to maybe the trade market, but at this point in the season, I highly doubt that anybody's going to be willing to deal. And I think Omar Khan might have to take a bad deal for the Steelers at this point if he wants to trade for a defensive lineman. So personally, if I'm Omar Khan, and I'm Mike Tomlin. I'm taking a deep breath. I'm saying, man, this sucks that our captain and our perennial Pro Bowl uh, defensive tackle is going to be gone. But also say, you know what? I think that I would rather go with the guys that we have on the roster now than spend money or spend draft capital on somebody else because I really do believe in Keanu Benson. I think he's going to be the future three technique in the Steelers defense. He gets an opportunity to kind of audition for that role. And then when Cam Hayward comes back, you can continue to rotate him in. You can continue to rotate him at nose tackle because he's got the size to do both. And personally, I would rather go with the guys that we have. Bring Braden Fahoku on the practice squad. Plug Keanu Benton and Isaiah Loudermilk into that three technique spot in the weeks to come. And because you still have TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith on the exterior of the defensive line attacking pass rushers, I still think this defense and this pass rush is going to be just fine in Cam Hayward's uh, absence, even though you're definitely going to feel his presence, uh, his lack of presence here over these next couple of weeks. Now, let me know what you would rather do. Who should replace Cam Hayward in the weeks to come? Should it be Keanu Benton or should, should it be an NFL free agent? Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. Type KB if you think Keanu Benton should get the opportunity here or if you think it should be an NFL free agent if you want to bring in the Damakung Su or Michael Brockers or somebody like that. Type FA down there in the comments section. 
That'll be it for me today, guys. Really do appreciate all the support. Make sure you subscribe for more injury news. We got Deontay Johnson that's hurt. An injury update on him is probably going to be coming out in the coming days, if not hours. So if there's another injury update, we'll have another video for you guys. Uh, and then also Pat Fryermuth, Chakwuma Korfor. Lots of injuries for the Steelers after week one. So make sure you subscribe for all the injury news coming out here before week two. And then also we put out a video out earlier today Overreaction Monday, I went over five overreactions on Steelers Twitter, and I'm going to tell you which ones are reasonable, and I'm going to tell you which ones are garbage. So I put the link in the comments and description of today's video. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and look, uh, check out that video after you're done with today's video. And that'll be it for me today, guys. Really do appreciate all the support before you leave today's video. Show some uh, love to Cam Hayward here. Wish him a speedy recovery by typing his number, number 97, down there in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for your support. I will see you guys later. Until next time, here we go, Steelers.